some cute pumpkins. I'll take some cute pumpkins. This one, it looks like the stem got torn off. No big deal. Would take two seconds to craft one out of like um, rope. That's simply not true. <laughs> Which we happen to have scrap rope. So we will make a stem for that and put that somewhere. Welcome to the Frugal Family. My name is Julie and this week we are getting caught up with our dumpster salvage treasures, repairing, upcycling, recycling, sharing, donating, using, all of it. And we're bringing you along. There is so much that is possible with some glue, some creativity, some time, and a lot of dumpster salvage treasures. While watching some of my favorite Halloween time movies, I gathered some supplies, the braid that I told you guys about that was a handle from one of the dumpster salvaged baskets, the one that the cat loves to play with and that we put our blankets in. I also, of course, grabbed some painter's tape, some E6000, they're my standbys, and some rings. And I'm pretty sure one of our frugal friends sent this to me, just a collection of rings and key, key rings. I don't know, I guess they're all key rings. And thought maybe the thin ones might be useful in crafting the stem like getting it to stay where I wanted I also could have used hot glue but I'm not using hot glue on these projects that are going to be stored out in the heat plus I've been looking for ways to use a lot of the crafting items that we have they take up space and so I do want to be using them also since I've been recovering so well I'm really feeling like crafting again doing my upcycling and my repairs and you know thinking outside of the box bringing stuff together dumpster salvage treasures gifts from viewers all these different supplies and of course the tape and the e6000 and just coming up with stuff and seeing what happens it is fall it is autumn it is my favorite time of year i just feel so energized and crafty and ready to make stuff happen so i started with the wire it would have been a lot easier if i had my wire cutter pliers but i have looked absolutely everywhere I'm sure I was using them on a craft, you know, before life kind of fell apart for a while. I have no idea where that is. Seriously, I have searched and searched. It hasn't happened. So I put the wire in and it was a matter of using my fingers and then eventually some kind of weird pliers that are adjustable. They were not as good as the ones I wanted would have been. The ones that I wanted to find, they were some needle nose pliers that I found on the side of the road. They are great quality and they just work so well, but I cannot find them. I'm not giving up. They're here somewhere. Anyway, in the meantime, fingers and the weird pliers, some E6000, some painter's tape. We are making kind of a Tim Burton slash Dr. Seuss inspired stem for this pumpkin using the wire as the support inside. Let's see how this goes. I worked and reworked the shape of the stem and then tried to get it in just the right place on the pumpkin. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was a process. I'm not going to say that it went perfectly, but that's the thing with crafting. It's a matter of your own tastes and just working with the project and sometimes letting it speak to you realizing that maybe you weren't using just the right supplies and that what you had in mind was just not gonna happen and often it's that you just need to use glue and tape <laughs> and skip skip the wire try that another time on a different project which i absolutely will i have another upcycling craft coming soon so stay tuned for that this is the week of crafting, repairing, recycling, sharing, using, donating. So there will be more. And those little metal rings that one of you so generously sent to us, they will be used. So I did pull some more pieces from the braid to cover the spots where the wire was showing. Yes, we are like compounding the situation. <laughs> then I let it dry overnight with the tape holding the E6000 in place. Let's see what we end up with in the morning, frugal friends. Tough decision. So I did fill in some of those areas and have tried it again. Yes, this would be so much easier with a hot glue gun, but 
this will be stored with the Halloween stuff out in the shed and it gets so hot out there things that I've used hot glue on they just they melt so I need to cover in this area a from the e6000 it's not good on fabrics and uh, it discolored here but also just to even this out and make it make sense so I can use more of the braid from the handle or this gold ribbon, which would be really pretty. I don't know yet which one I'm gonna do. I will kind of play around with both of them and then you will see when I'm done what I decided to go with. So it took a little more effort than I had anticipated and then I started getting a little bit crazy. You guys know I do tend to overdo it. I was just trying to cover up anywhere that fabric wasn't covering and then I needed to cover up some of the E6000 from putting the main stem on. So I started adding like all these other little scraggly bits from that braid, you know, the handle from the dumpster salvage basket, the one that the cat plays with. And I don't know if I went too far, but I do feel like when I added the sparkly stuff, the sparkly ribbon, that really, you know, we can do better than that, Ivy. between that and the little skeleton, I think that really brought it together. Not bad for a bunch of dumpster salvage supplies with some <laughs> E6000, lots of painter's tape, and quite a bit of time, but I was sitting watching my shows anyway. <laughs>